In this video, I'll try to unite some of the tribes as Ajuran. Ajuran is Sunni Theocracy, which is by the way quite rare, there are not many of them. So basically I'll have to unite only this territory. I don't have to unite Ethiopia or Kilwa, just Somali. Well, I'll try of course, but I don't have to. And first, let's choose some rivals. Basically everyone hates me, so I'll try to ally Ethiopia. And for this, I'll make Adel my rival. Of course, Marhan and Warsangli, why not? Uh, let's choose some privileges, mana privileges, religious diplomats. Also, I'll grant local residence to Scholar. I think creative expansion, why not? I'll take some party loans, I'll need them. Let's seize land, and I think that should be enough. Okay, let's check out our ruler. Quite awful to be honest. So, what I'll do now? This might be unexpected, but yes, Somali tribes have mission trees. Obviously, I'll try to complete it. Let's harm Mamluks, free company. Okay, should be enough. So, we do have Mogadishu as our vessel. Let's start improving relations. I think I shouldn't build any spy network right now. I don't have to. Let's just insult Adel. Scornful insult. And I hope Ethiopia will ally me. I guess I'll choose Merchant's son as our heir. I need money, I love money. By the way, not really bad. Okay, here we go, now I get some claims. Let's wait for a little. 11th December, here we go. Marhan couldn't ally anyone and that should be easy target. And let's see Warsangli. Warsangli did ally someone, quite unfortunate. Let's hire General. Of course, not too bad, but well, not real good. And let's also focus on military, because I want new military technology ASAP. Time for stack wipe, nothing difficult. Quite funny situation, I tried to stack wipe them, but they are running away. I'm not joking, they're just running away. Okay, finally. And uh, let's peace out. Obviously full annexation, money, and that should be enough. So now let's see. I have to conquer War Sangli, and that might be a problem actually. I'll try to find some friendly nations and ally them. And by the way, finally I can ally Ethiopia. Let's do it. Ethiopia won't join, but I don't need it. I'll win without it. I hired this advisor for diplomatic reputation, so Mara and Adam will join in, and that should be enough. Let's make this nation co-belligerent, I want to conquer it, and let's go. So, I may not worry about this nation, but I have to worry about these nations. Warsankly doesn't even have troops for some reason, I don't know why. So, I'll just fully occupy it so it can produce more troops. New military technology, just perfect, let's see. So, I have better mood tech than all of my rivals. Unfortunately, couldn't get here in time, but well. We'll unseach our capital. I'll fully annex this nation and take some money. The same with Orsangli. Money, full annexation. And now I should be able to finish another mission. This one. If I'm mistaken, it will give me some claims on Adel. Yes, it did. Well, so technically I can declare even now, but we'll see. Maybe I won't. And maybe I will. So they are at war against Kilwa. I think I can declare. And I think I even should. Maybe let's wait for a little more, so I can call in either Ethiopia or someone else, I don't know. Okay, let's go. I won't call in Ethiopia, because I'm afraid it will want to conquer some provinces. And by the way, I can make him co-belligerent. Let's try. Let's try. Aggressive expansion is just a number. So obviously I'm not stupid, I won't siege forts yet. First, I want to kill their troops. Although no, I can siege this fort. They are in Arabia. Okay, I'll pass out Yemen, I think. Maybe even some money. Uh, no money, unfortunately, but well, at least I'll get 100 war score. Now let's fully annex Adel and take money. That was quite easy. And that's mostly because of my military technology. They couldn't even do anything to me. Unfortunately, as you can see, I do have some problems with the rebels. So I have to do something. Rest in peace, my manpower. Obviously, because we are going to become pirates, I'll choose this reform. And I'll start annexing our dear vessel. It won't take much time. And I need to do it to form Somali. Also, I'll start building spy network on Kilwa. I'd like to have some gold, because right now my economy is not really healthy. So, because I conquered Adel, I can complete this mission. So yeah, basically I've already united Somali. United clans, I'll get some good modifiers and claims on Ethiopia. Right now I don't have any army, but I would declare when I can. Now that I've caught my new provinces and integrated Mogadishu, I can form Somali. Yes, I agree, Ajuran ideas are better, but just look. Our traditions are very unique. Like, I think only two nations have this idea. What's the difference with, I don't know, Moroccan idea? It's that we can raid provinces with our religion. Let me show you. Mamluks are Sunni, yet I can do this. Other nations can do it. Only pirate nations, Somalia and Normandy, I think, can do it. North African pirates can only raid heretics and heathens. But we can raid whoever we want. And by the way, now I can finish some missions. This one, very cool. Because I annexed Mogadishu, I got some development here. So, uh, let's declare on Kilwa. Because first, I love money, and second, because they have worse military technology. I really want some gold. It's an extremely easy war. I have naval superiority, and I have land superiority. Okay, let's pass out. So, I'll take these provinces, because of gold, and some money. 
and because I've got gold province, I can finish this mission. Let's do it. I didn't really think about it, but I should have done it later, because I haven't even guarded this province, so income from gold is quite low, and this mission gives 4 years of gold income. Well, I won't save scum because of this, so okay, I'll just deal with it. Of course, I don't really have administrative power, but still, I want to declare. Right now, it's the opportunity. I may not have it later, because mammoths are quite blobby in this run. They may conquer Ethiopia before me. Should be easy war, just need to be careful with mountain forts. I'm glad Ethiopia is stupid, like, they could kill my stacks here, on mountain, but they decided to siege, I don't know why. Okay, let's peace out. I'll take center of trade, and I'll take gold mine. Gold mine is quite important. And obviously money. And now I need to protect Ethiopia from Mamluks. That's why I'm going to annex these small Coptic states. But first, let's lower autonomy. Okay, now it should be fine. By the way, making profits. Let's also state our gold province and I would, of course, core it. But I don't have administrative mana. Also, I'm going to use some corruption, pay out some loans and use my massive interaction. Okay, so well, let's conquer those small states. I'll fully annex this nation, take some money, of course. But also, what I'll do. First, I need to finish this war, unfortunately. Let's annex this nation, money, obviously, and what I'll do. I won't call its provinces, but I will release it. Just have to remember its name, yes, this one. Now that Ethiopia was partitioned, I guess. Quite a unicorn. Okay, then, uh, let's just conquer it. Of course, I don't want to conquer Samian, but unfortunately, I have to. Although, you know what? I just can't miss out on this opportunity, you know? I just, I just can't, I'm sorry. It's not the most efficient play, but I physically can't, I'm sorry. I have to. Now I have Jewish vessel. And let's also declare on Kaffa. I know it would have been better to feed Semyon to this vessel, but you know, you rarely see Semyon. Usually it's not really life. I'll give these provinces to our Jewish friend, and I'll take these provinces for myself. And of course money. Just perfect. Mamux have declared on Dungolia, so I think I should conquer it ASAP. That was quite easy. I'll feed these provinces to our vessel, and of course I'll take some money. And just like this, whole Ethiopia is united. Well, almost. Just this province is left. And right now I need to deal with Mamluks somehow. And to do this I need to ally Atamans. Let's improve relations with Mamluks and I'll try to get access here, uh, so I can stand somewhere here to get maps of Anatolia. And I think it's time to start developing Renaissance. The cheapest province is this one. Okay, let's ask for military access. By the way, I don't even need it. I can already see Ottomans. Okay then, okay then, no need. Cancel. And I'll make Mamluks my rival. Let's send scornful insult. I hope someone will ally me. Finally. Well guys, the game is already won. I can even finish this mission, just perfect. Not like it's really useful, but well. Okay, I'll wait for a little more, so Ottomans grow stronger, and meanwhile I want to get first ID group. Right now I basically have infinite money. I can raid, I can choose Machin's son as my heir, so I get some additional money, and also I have tons of gold mines. I didn't really know about this, but apparently I've done everything necessary to complete this mission. Let's see. So I get tons of development and tons of claims. Let's also ally Timurids. Just perfect, I can do whatever I want with Mamlux. And let's start annexing vessels. Truth with Ethiopia has ended, let's declare, and whole Ethiopia will be mine. I didn't even have to do anything, my vessel's done all the work. Finally I can build some cannons, so let's do it. Cannons are cool and I have money. And let's convert some provinces, with this trading policy. Well, Ethiopia is not really a rich trade node, so I think I can do it. Obviously I'll call in Ottomans and Timurids. And I'll make Kilwa co-belligerent. I have some troops here, they'll deal with Kilwa, and my main army will deal with Mamluks. It seems they're not even trying to defend from Ottomans and Timurids. They're focusing on me. Well, still I'll conquer Kilwa. At least Kilwa is mine. Well, okay, let's try to defend. It's counter-offensive time. Okay, let's do it. Well, I wanted to get some money, because it wrote here that I will get like 500, but now I think I won't. 300 is not enough. Definitely not enough. I'll take something else. Uh, maybe more reparations and provinces. Let's see. Let's take these provinces and maybe this province. Okay, should be enough. And I want to start expansion in this direction. And here we go, renaissance. Okay, let's declare. I think I'll enact this decision. Yes, I'll lose one stability, not a big deal. Let's buy it. And now I can buy some manpower. I do need manpower, as you can see. Finally, I can hire explorers, and that's what I'll do. And finally, colonist. I want to colonize this province, ideally. But not sure if I will be able to. I doubt, I doubt. I need one more idea. This one. Right now, let's maybe colonize this province. Obviously, I'll choose coexistence, because I don't want native uprisings, too much headache, and let's send. No, just look, like, it's money cheat. 100 ducats, and I don't have to do anything. And by the way, I have problem with piracy, that's why I want to colonize. 
But as you can see, I can't pirate much. I can pirate India now, but that's because of this province. I couldn't before. Well, I got only 79 ducats from this. Let's see, let me double check. Yes, 79 ducats. Not much. Also, I think I'll grant this privilege for faster colonies. Let's ally Aquino, I think. It may help against Mamluks. Unfortunately, it won't, but still good to have some allies. Well, interesting, let's see. Okay, let's conquer. I think I'll only take this province. This province and that's it. I want pretty borders. Also, let's take one or two loans, I think. Maybe on Parker loans, why not? And embrace Renaissance. Now I should be great power. Yes, I am great power. Fifth great power. Second IT group. I think expansion. For additional colonists. Okay, perfect. Let's colonize even more. First, I can research new technology. As you can see, now I have more colonial range. And of course, I can colonize this province, but I want to colonize something better. Something more far away. And I guess, let's declare on Mamluks. Although maybe let's wait for one more year, so I get better military technology and then I'll declare. Yes, I can colonize this island, just perfect. I think I'll be able to raid this whole part of India and even some Malukas. I was right, now I can raid almost whole India. I want to see how much I would get. Quite a decent amount of money. Yeah, like around 500 and well. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's declare on Mamluks. One more colonist. And let's also colonize this province so I can also raid West India. I guess let's declare. Perfect time to do it. I love doing naval landings while Mamluks trying to kill my ships. And here we go. Uh, let's annex and some money. So yes, now I can raid almost whole India. Okay, so I'll just take Gulf of Aden. And that's it. Uh, nothing more. And by the way, if someone wonders, raiding whole India gives you around 6 or 700 ducats. I think I'll end this video here. Thank you for watching, hope you liked this video, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.